Hey y'all, it's Haley, and today is going to be my one month update for the deployment series that I'm doing on my channel. Last month I posted a video and I said that my husband had just left deployment. I wanted to document it, but I wasn't sure if I was going to do monthly updates or how it was going to go. I did get a, um, like some really positive, um, feedback back from people, so I figured that I would do this not only for my subscribers and my followers, but, and some of my family members that watch, um, but for myself to look back on in the journey and see, like, where I was each month and everything, and I want to document, like, every month and then do, um, like, some random military-related videos in there, and then I also want to try and document the homecoming. I'm not sure how that's going to go. We'll see, but... I just want to kind of like these videos are just going to be me kind of rambling about what's going on things like that and so if you don't like that kind of video just exit out right now but I hope y'all enjoy so first off let me just talk about snow outside I live in Virginia and we got 10 inches of snow last night so it's a snow day today works canceled pretty much the whole city's closed because I've lived in Virginia for almost three years and this is the most snow we've ever gotten it's a big deal so pretty much the city, the schools are shut down, like even a lot of, most of the bases are shut down. There's a few that I think are open, but, um, are some people have to go in, but whatever. So anyways, one month update. So actually tomorrow marks one month, but I figured I would get this up now while I got the chance because I didn't know when I was going to film it. But honestly, this month has flown by like crazy. Um, I'm very blessed and lucky that I get to talk to my husband on more of a normal basis than a lot of people do on deployments. Um, where my husband is, he's um, just able to communicate with me. Um, we don't talk every every day, but maybe every other day. And we talked, I think I talked about this before. We talked on this app called Vonage, which I'm just going to talk briefly about it because I feel like it's a great app. My husband loves it. Um, a few of the guys he's deployed with use it too. So I'm just going to talk about it in case you are your husband's about to go through a deployment or you're going through like some sort of long distance thing and they don't have a very good like cell reception or they can't use their actual cell phone. But anyways, what you do is it's a free app. It's called Vonage. I can, I will link the name below. It's um, B-O-N-A-G-E. It's a little orange like tab thing and it's free. You download it. You download the app and then it asks you to plug in your actual cell phone number. So you do. They verify the cell phone number that it's you or whatever. It's like a legit cell phone number. And then it's just like Skype, but you have, they have, it's video messaging, just like the Skype video chat. And then they have an actual chat, just like um, Skype has it too, and like Facebook Messenger, like that type of chat. And they also have just a regular phone call. My husband and I chat on it on a like a regular basis, um, and then he's given me a few, I've caught, gotten a few phone calls on the video chat with the app. So it's really great. I would highly recommend it. I think it's much better than Skype. The quality at least is better where he is. I'm not sure about where your husband or boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever is um, deployed or gone at or where they are, but where my husband currently is, it's it that's the best app that we've used so far. So I really like that. I just want to shout that app out one more time. I also want to shout out one of my military sisters. She's an army wife here on YouTube. Her name is, I think, I'm going to say your name wrong probably and I'm sorry, but I think it's Sophia Alejandra 9 and I will link her channel below. She shouted me out on Instagram. It was the sweetest thing. Completely made my night. I will link her below as I said, but thank you girl. I love you so much and you just are amazing. So yes, I just wanted to shout that out while I remembered. Um, so, I've been keeping really busy. I have a job, as I've talked about. I work Monday through Friday. I work about 40 to 45 hours a week. Um, that keeps me really busy. I feel like the hardest time, really, is the weekends because I'm off on the weekends. And, um, you know, coming home to a house where we're used to him, like, weekends were our time, are our, our time, because I, we both work Monday through Friday, so weekends are what we do together. Um, so that's the hardest adjustment, though. Um, I feel like during the week, I am so exhausted that I really just want to come home. Either I go to the gym or I come home, like, feed my dogs, hang out with my dogs, <laughs> watch some TV, and then I go to sleep and get ready for the next work day. So I feel like the weekends are really the hardest to get adjusted to. Um, I have been keeping busy. I have a really good group of girlfriends here that are amazing, that are very supportive. Um, so that is really great. You just... I think you have to have like a really good group of friends to really get by or family close by. I don't have family close by, so friends are like my next best thing. Um, honestly, 
I just think that my friends are amazing and they are always there for me. Um, they're checking up on me, making sure I'm okay, so that's great. Um, I've also been kind of doing a lot of projects around my house. Um, I've actually been cooking a lot, which is weird because last deployment I did not cook at all. Like I just would eat Subway and I'd eat popcorn and drink wine and <laughs> wasn't a healthy, um, healthy thing. And I got really um, like I wasn't healthy and I had lost a bunch of weight and it was not a healthy situation last deployment. And it wasn't that I was depressed; it just I wasn't eating right and I wasn't like exercising normally. So I'm trying to exercise more. I go to a gym. I go to One Life Fitness. Love them. I love their spin classes. They're amazing. And um, yeah, so I've been cooking. Like I love Pinterest. If you're not on Pinterest, you really should. It's an addiction. But I've made a lot of recipes. I'm trying to like make these recipes, try them out, and then when my husband gets home, I have a bunch of recipes to make for him. I actually ended up buying all these um, little recipe cards from Michael's and then I'm putting this like booklet together so that I have them all written down and so I can make them because usually I just like scroll my Pinterest app and look at the recipe but I really am trying to be organized and have actual like recipes and organized and everything so that's fun that's a good thing I have some projects in my house that I'm doing right now so that's exciting um, those kind of things keep me busy and keep me motivated um, my sister-in-law is coming to visit me in March for her spring break. She is a senior in college, so that is something I'm looking forward to. I cannot wait. So just having little things to go to um, look forward to because the end right now for me with his deployment is far. So I'm trying to have something like each month to look forward to. Right now she's coming in March, and I'm also in May. I'm going to my brother's college graduation, and I'm flying to Texas for that. So that's something I'm looking forward to as well. Just like little things that I can look forward to that are great. Um, I'm also, and I would highly recommend anyone that's going through any sort of deployment or like separation from your loved ones, um, I am doing this thing where once a month I treat myself to something that I want or need, um, either if it's like a, something I want shopping wise or um, like this month, this coming weekend, um, I am getting my, I'm getting a manicure. So I'm kind of just Something that I don't normally do for myself, but I'm going to do for this deployment just for something to look forward to and have. Um, so if it's something that you want, like if it's a pedicure, manicure, you get your hair done, stuff like that, that kind of stuff makes me happy. Like that is the kind of stuff that will just make my complete day, make my day, make my complete day, make my day complete. But, you know, it could be some certain like makeup item you want or a shopping spree I don't know but that's something that I would highly that I would recommend you doing because it's something in that month that you have to look forward to so it's all about like looking forward to little things for me that helps um what else was I gonna say um I mean there are a few things that went wrong this month like a lot of we we own a house and a lot of little things happen like um one of our room there's something wrong with the electrical wiring and I have to have our builder come out and look at it because I think it was something that was done when we like before we bought the house when it was built um so that's just something that's kind of annoying because I'm only one person and I work all the time so it's hard to find a time to be able to get that kind of stuff done but just little things around the house but I mean they can be handled um if I ever have a problem I call my dad or my father-in-law and they help me through it like with any some anything like in the house that I'm not really prepared for. Um, the snow is kind of overwhelming without my husband because there's so much snow on the ground. I'm a little worried about it, but it <laughs> should be okay. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of living this life and taking a day, a day. I don't take, I can't, I stutter. Taking one day at a time is important. Um, last deployment, I feel like I really just didn't like, I thought too much about the end and not where I was. Like, I'm thinking about each day, and I, sh and I should do that. I should just be like, I got through today, yes. It shouldn't be, oh, my God, I'm not going to see him for so long. That's not how it should be because you'll drive yourself crazy. I would not recommend downloading those apps that, what is the Donut of Misery or the Countdown app because they make you crazy. You look at it all the time. And so I'm not downloading those apps. If anything, I'll download those apps, like, if it's, like, a month or two before he comes home. But when I actually get an actual date, which won't be for three or four months probably. Um, but yes, just don't download those apps. They're just, 
they're there to bring you down. You don't want to be brought down. So, I don't know. I'm just kind of talking, and there's probably so much stuff I want to talk about. But also, if you have any military, like, video requests you want me to see, or you want to see from me, let me know, because I have a few ideas um, that I kind of want to do, but I would love to hear some requests from people, because sometimes I'm clueless when it comes to, like, topics to think of videos, and that's my problem. Um, I really don't know what else to say other than thank you so got much for your support, and I've gotten, like, some messages from people, really sweet messages, um, people telling me that, you know, I'm a role model, which is just makes me so, like, makes me want to cry because I, I do these videos just because I feel like I have knowledge and background in the military and being a military wife, but I never expect to hear, like, thank you for your video, it makes me so happy, um, you're a role model, like, it's just, it makes me so happy, so thank you for your support. I would not be doing these videos without you, um, sometimes YouTube is kind of depressing in the fact that when I get like bad reviews or something or someone comments not a nice thing it kind of makes me not want to do it but then when I get the really sweet awesome comments from my subscribers it just makes it all worth it so thank you for all being there for me